KDK News at 11 starts in about 10 minutes from right now. Let's find out what's on the menu, Ken. Okay, Bob, it is a first alert weather night in southwestern PA. Ray's coming up with the wide range of watches, warnings, and advisories we're dealing with. Also, a father getting closure tonight. He's telling Jennifer Barresso about learning the police found his son's remains 10 years after he disappeared. And emotion to help learning math, the curriculum that a Pennsylvania school district is looking at and why some are not crazy about the idea. All coming up in minutes on KDK News at 11. Bob. All right, Ken, thanks very much. So, Jeff, now it's the Florida Panthers, and they have really struggled at times this year. They were built uh, to be a playoff team. Spencer Knight, their goaltender, has gone into, um, you know, the help part of the N NHLPA for whatever reason, uh, and he's gone from the team. You know, I just wonder, that's a team that has a lot of talent on it. They made a trade to get Matthew Kachuk. Your, your thoughts on why they've not been the kind of team that I thought would be a really serious contender this year? Yeah, I don't know why they're not riding the wave of that energetic fan base down there <laughs> in Florida. Uh, yeah, I am surprised, too. I thought they were a team that was built to be in the postseason this year, but it Again, it goes to show, and, you know, some of these younger teams are maybe a little bit higher, at least right now in the season. Remember, still a quarter of the season left for most of these teams. You know, Detroit and Buffalo, how are they going to handle the pressure of being in this position for the first time for a lot of the players on those teams? You know, this might be their early peak, and then they might slide off. So, uh, so much to decide, but I, I agree with you. I thought Florida is still a dangerous team but really an opportunity to keep this win streak going before you get into those division games where they're four point games and really opportunities. You mentioned getting into that six spot. Uh, what a chance uh, for the Penguins to do that next week if they can keep this role going. Yep. All right, the other big game coming up is going to be Pitt. After last night, and last night was a disaster, but I think a lot of people felt it might be given the emotional attachment of Mike Bray to that final game for him. They have Miami. They can still get a double bye and then get a regular season co-championship. Uh, your thoughts about that game? I have a feeling on Saturday Pitt's going to win that game. They strike me as a team that's so mature they can bounce back. They can learn from that game the other night. And quite frankly, it was just a bad shooting night more than anything else. Yeah, and, you know, those those free throws, how do, how do you explain that? We had the misses. Jeff Cable show at 6 o'clock, yeah. and he was joking. He's like, I think there was an invisible leprechaun that was knocking our ball <laughs> out of the hoop all night so Mike Bray could get a win because how else would you explain what the, the way they were shooting free throws? What I like about Pitt is, and what they kind of need to get back to, and they felt a little pressure, I think, at Notre Dame that they had to win. They, it was probably the first time in a while they felt this. Go in loose. No one expected you to be there. Go play free. If they go down there and play hard and play free and play the type of defense they played about four games ago, not in the last few, but about four games ago and that type of intensity, yeah, I think they have a shot. Miami's a good team. They got four players basically averaging 14 points a game. Isaiah Wong's a really good guard, um, but I like Pitt. I, I do like the experience. And if they go down with that right mindset, I absolutely think they could get a win. And wouldn't it be something to go from pick 14th to finishing first? <laughs> And getting a 10th seed, <laughs> which is crazy, because that's yeah, likely right. what it's going to be, something like that. Jeff, we're out of time. I appreciate it as always. We'll see you again uh, this weekend and next week as well. Thanks, man. Thanks, Bob. All right, that's going to do it for us tonight. Thank you for joining us. As I said, KDK News at 11 o'clock starts in a couple of minutes from right now. Join us again back here tomorrow at 1035. We do it seven nights a week, so don't be a stranger. This is the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. For Jeff Hathorne, I'm Bob Pompiani. Good night.